All right, guys, today, really heavy drop-coated dog. So what I'm gonna use is only two tools, one little straight blender and one little bigger rounded blender. So first thing is opening the eyes. On this guy, I usually leave um, eyelashes. So I'm gonna comb him back, go with my small blenders, and open the eyes. And the visor. Okay, so comb all the corner and side of the muzzle up and go under a little angle, clean it all up. So you can open the eyes without dishing out the stop because that doesn't look good. Then I'm gonna start from top of the head to get this length down a little bit. No clippers, no scissors. I'm gonna get all this hair on, get it between my fingers, use my curves. One time, and as you can see, it's not a straight line, it's kind of beveled, and it is in the middle of his head. So when you let it go, it's all shorter and layered. So I don't have to go there again. All these sticky, out sticky outies on top of the ear, little blender, then little piece in front of the ear, blend it up into the top of the head. Now the side of the face, make sure when you pick up the ear, don't pull it to the side or on top of the head, just pick it up and hold it. So you do not manipulate the skin. Half moon, going straight into the corner, outside corner of the ear. Pick the head up, comb everything towards the base of the ear and all of this that just stuck out for you. Trim it into a half moon. Then everything forward. Blend it into the visor. Holding your blenders or thinners out, not in. That way you're gonna have a nice blended line here. Same thing, only different direction, different perspective, because I'm a righty, so I'm doing it different way on the left side of the dog, another half moon. Check one more time real quick. My top of the head and sides are pretty much done. And now the chin or the beard, we are going to connect to the cheeks. Same shape, half moon. And now the ears. I'm gonna have them hanging naturally. Just grab the leather so I don't cut the ear. Another half moon. Comb them down. Check for anything that is hanging out of your general line. And last but not least, I'm gonna blend the back of his head into the neck. I do it from the neck up into the head. That gives me a much better blend instead of going like this. And it is faster going up to get your results. Move the ear a little bit to trim those behind the ear stubborn hairs. All right, so my general shape is done. All I have to do is comb, look for the symmetry and whatever sticky outies I may have left. Again, as usual, my bad side is longer than my good side. So 
so I can trim it up right now real quick. And the last thing that I want to check and kind of neaten up is his visor. I'm going to put my solid blade between his eyelash and his visor here and just trim it out a little bit to open the eye up. You can see how it opens up right away. And there we are, a few minutes. Really heavy drop coated dog. And smooth layered, no scissor marks. This is Jackson. Come on, Jackson, don't fight me. You're fighting me.